so let's take a look here. Hopefully you guys can see the major difference of this dark circle right here compared to this one that we did cover up. I am going to bring the brightness down a little bit. I think that's a little bit too dark. I don't want it that dark for the entire tutorial, but I just don't want people saying you don't have any dark circles at all. What's up you guys? So I wanted to start this video completely barefaced. I'm so sorry to start a video like this. I actually just woke up a couple of minutes ago, so definitely try not to judge me too harshly, but I wanted to show you guys basically what my dark circles look like with no foundation on, no concealer, no nothing on. And I know what you guys are gonna say, they're not that bad, but hold up, I'm gonna show you a little something. Studio lighting does a lot for a face, for makeup, it kinda makes everything look better. So what I'm gonna do is turn down the ISO. Let's turn it down three notches on my camera and that way you can kind of see, and I still have my ring light on. If I was to turn my ring light off, you guys would see even more the darkness under here. And obviously I just look like complete crap right now. You could see the acne scarring a little bit more, you can see my imperfections. So when I turn the lighting up, you guys will, it kind of will fade out that darkness. So I just kind of wanted to include that little demonstration so you guys could see that I do have darkness going on. And when I am showing you guys how I conceal them, I'll tone down the brightness again so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So what we're going to be talking about today is how I cover my under eye circles. You guys know that it has been an ongoing struggle for me to cover my dark under eye circles without any creasing because I don't know if any of you guys are like me, but I have these tiny little wrinkles underneath my eyes that I feel like they don't really stand out when I'm not wearing makeup, but when I pack on concealer, they definitely stand out more. They crease, and I used to find myself going like this like every single hour or so to kind of like work out those creases. And I have it under control now, so I definitely wanna share it with you guys. So the first thing that I normally do is I apply my moisturizer right after I wash my face, and this is something that has actually changed. Now, I do like a really thick, like rich formula night under eye cream for nighttime. That sounded weird, but you guys know what I'm saying. Like a really rich formula. I put that underneath my eyes when I go to sleep at night. But during the daytime, I find that if I use a really rich, creamy under eye moisturizer, that I have so much more creasing. So what I actually use is the same moisturizer that I use all over my face, underneath my eyes as well. This is the huge, like big daddy size. This was like $40. You guys know that I love this stuff if I was willing to invest $40. And what is this, eight ounces on the Ultra Repair Cream by First Aid Beauty. I picked this up at Sephora. I talk about it all the time. It has oatmeal in it. It's um, specifically formulated for uh, skin that's irritated, that has eczema, that has, uh, it has no parabens, no chemicals, no colorants. It's very, very safe for sensitive skin. So I love it for all over my face, but I also love it for underneath my eyes. And I try to use a very light hand because I feel like if you apply a lot of globs of moisturizer underneath your eyes, you're going to have a lot more creasing. So that's the first thing that I do. And this has had already maybe 10 minutes to kind of soak into my face. So that step is done. Then, this is something that I told you guys years ago on my channel and I still do it, but I only do it on the days that I have like a really important event to go to and I really want to ensure that there's going to be no creasing whatsoever. So if you have really, really wrinkly under eye circles, I definitely do recommend doing this, but for every day it's kind of an annoying little step. So to be honest with you guys, I don't do it every day, but when I have a special event, I do. And basically what it is is an amazing, amazing setting spray that is not like anyone that I've ever tried before. I picked this up, I paid for this, this is not sponsored. This is Model in a Bottle and I do have an entire video showing you guys how this makes everything on your face waterproof. Honestly you guys, what I did in that video, like I swatched a whole bunch of eyeshadows onto my hand and then I sprayed this stuff over and I put it under the sink and a regular eyeshadow did not budge. After doing that little experimentation, I was like, you know what? This might really lock in my under eye concealer as well. So what I do, and I will say that the little spray bottle absolutely sucks, like nothing comes out. I'll put a link to this down below if you guys want it, but you guys know I'm not working with the company. Obviously, I'm telling you that the bottle sucks but the product inside is amazing. And I have the sensitive version, but I have the regular original as well. I just went through that one, one, two, three. And what I like to do is take a little tiny bit, tiny bit onto whatever little brush I'm using. After my under eye moisturizer has soaked in, I just like to put a couple of dabs. 
And then for some reason, I don't know why, this is just how I like to do it. I like to go in and work it in with my finger. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure that that is worked in really well. And then I go ahead and move on to the rest of my makeup. So what I'm going to do is do all of my makeup. I'm going to conceal one eye, but I'm not going to conceal the other one because I want to show you the exact steps that I use. I only use two products to conceal and then one product to set it. And I'm telling you that it's budge proof. It lasts all day long and it covers everything without any creasing. So let me go finish up my makeup and one eye and we'll be right back, or I'll be right back to finish the rest. All right, no more young thug. All right guys, so I'm back and I'm about to show you guys how easy this is. I do have the majority of my makeup on this side of my face and now we're going to be concentrating on this side because all I did on this side was put down my foundation and do my eyebrow. And if you guys are interested to see what I used, it's basically the same thing that I do all the time because yes, I am a very basic B. This is my usual, my everyday seven minute makeup. I do have a video on it and I will go ahead and include that down below. All right, so let's take a look here. Hopefully you guys can see the major difference of this dark circle right here compared to this one that we did cover up. I am going to bring the brightness down a little bit. I think that's a little bit too dark. I don't want it that dark for the entire tutorial, but I just don't want people saying you don't have any dark circles at all. I was on Accutane for six months, and unfortunately, one of the side effects of that medication that can be long-term is dark under eye circles, and I definitely have them. You guys tell me all the time, no you don't, but I'm telling you guys, if you saw me in person, I definitely have them. It's really simple to cover them up. So now I showed you guys how I prep, and basically what I do next is I'm going to, instead of using a corrector underneath my eye, I find it super simple to use another, this is supposed to be another concealer, but it works as a corrector for me, and it is drugstore. This is the Instant Age Rewind by, who makes this? All right, this is showing how I didn't prepare here. Maybelline in the shade Neutralizer. And I'm sorry if I'm looking over here, guys, but this is where I have my mirror. And what I like to do is just really get it in this spot right here. A lot of darkness usually lies in that spot for me. And then I'm just going to bring it down my face. Then what I like to do is right over on top of that. And by the way, hold on, I'm getting excited, so I'm jumping ahead of myself. The reason that I love this stuff is because as you can see, it's really, really pigmented. On some days, I use this alone. It covers so well, but it's such a thin formula. It does not crease at all. And when you pair it with the model in a bottle underneath, I'm telling you, you will not have any creases at all. I like to step up the brightness just a little bit. So what I do over that is I layer another concealer. And this one is by Urban Decay. It's their Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light. I picked this one up. Yes, it is about two shades lighter than my skin tone and it does have a yellow tinge or undertone to it and I really like that because it helps to conceal. I have a kind of like a bluish gray color underneath my eyes and I feel like it really does counteract that. I like to let that sit for about 15 seconds and then I'm just going to buff it in. All right, 15 seconds has passed. I'm gonna be using this really cheap e.l.f. brush that I picked up from Target. It's their stippling brush and it works perfect for this. And I'm just going to kind of use a combination of a stippling motion and a buffing motion. And I should not have my hair down because it's getting all up in my eyes, but we're just gonna make it work. Hopefully you guys can see right there what a major, major difference that made. Basically, all of the darkness is now completely concealed. I love this stuff so, so much, but I do want to take one last step and just make sure to set it. And what I love, I love this stuff for underneath the eyes is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. I know that this is a face powder, but it also goes a really long way to prevent that creasing. So I'm using a flocked sponge. This one is by Jane Iredale, and I'm just going to press this right on top of wherever we applied that concealer it's really going to lock it into place. And I find that since I bring everything right here in this inner corner of my eye and on my eyelid, I actually do not need to go ahead and use an eyeshadow primer because this stuff works great. Pretty much makes everything bulletproof, sweatproof, cry, well not cry proof, not that one. And the dark circle is now gone. So obviously my eye looks really tiny on this side compared to this side. I also didn't finish like my bronzer and my highlight and my blush on this side. So what I'm gonna do is just speed it up because I'm pretty sure you guys don't wanna see all of that. So let's finish up the makeup and wrap this video up.
All right, and as my grandmother would say, finito mariposa, I don't know, that's just one of her little sayings. Now you guys can see that everything is completely concealed and you would never guess that I have these dark under eye circles. I already know that I'm gonna get a lot of comments from you girls saying if you think that your under eye circles are bad, you should see mine. But I'm telling you guys, even though mine aren't like, you know, a 10 out of 10, they're still maybe like a seven out of 10 and they bother me. So this is how I conceal them on a daily basis and if you really wanna step it up, sometimes I go ahead with my Kat Von D shade and light palette and I will take this shade right here, the yellow shade right in the middle, and this is a, what is this? A contour brush by Real Techniques and I will just go right underneath. Normally I would do this before my bronzer but I totally forgot and it just kind of brightens it up even more. And I think that's about as bright as you want to get. I don't think you want to go any more bright than that. I think we're good with that. So if any of my ladies out there suffer from A, dark circles underneath your eyes, in the corner of your eyes, or with that wrinkly skin that kind of creases throughout the day, I definitely recommend these products to you. The model in a bottle, I'm telling you, is a life savior. It's amazing. I do not know what is in this stuff, but it keeps everything fudge proof. You will not crease at all. And you can go ahead and spray this all over your face and it will make everything waterproof. Go swimming on that first date, I'm just saying. Also, the Maybelline Age Rewind and the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay are amazing products, whether you use them individually or if you're a little bit extra like me and you like to pair everything all three together and set it with the Kat Von D. I'm telling you with these products, you cannot go wrong. This is what I do. And if you guys want to see a full tutorial on my seven minute everyday face, I will post that down below. And I think that is everything for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.